Good morning. Hope you're doing well. What an awesome day God has given us. Beautiful. Uh, hearing the animals come alive, like I've said before, it's just an awesome sound. This morning, I want to talk to you about Isaiah the prophet and how God called him. And God is doing the same today to each and every one of us. <clears throat> In Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah said, Woe is me, starting in verse 5, For I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken uh, with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and whom will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Isaiah recognized that he was unclean. He was not prepared to do what God wanted him to do. And he confessed that. He said, Woe, I, woe is me, for I'm a man of unclean lips. And God sent one of the seraphims over to get the coal and place it to his lips. And that cleansed him. And he said, my iniquity is taken away. My sin has been purged. So then God said, who shall I send? Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Who will go for me? Then I said, here am I. Isaiah answered the call. When Jesus was getting ready to leave this earth and go back to heaven after his resurrection, he looked at the disciples and he said, Go ye therefore into all the nations, preaching the gospel, teaching them the way, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people think that call just went out to those 12 that were right there that day, or those 11. The Bible, a lot of people think, well, that just goes out to the preachers and the evangelists. But God had that call go out to every man, woman, boy, and girl who was a born-again believer in Jesus Christ, whose sins have been cleansed by the blood of Christ. So today, God is looking at each and every one of us and saying, who can I send? Who will do my work? We must be willing to answer, here am I, Lord, send me. I'll be that witness for you. I'll be that Sunday school teacher for you. I'll be that prayer warrior for you. Lord, maybe you're going to call me into the ministry of somehow, music or preaching or teaching. But Lord, here am I. I'm ready to go and do your will for my life. So you see, today, God is still calling people today to come to know him and to come and serve him and live with him in his kingdom. Miss Eleanor has joined us. So today I'm asking, and God is asking, who will go. The study Bible says, if that command to go out grips our heart, we must respond in the same way as Isaiah did, here am I, send me. And you know, we as humans, the first thing we want to say is, well, I, I can't do that. I'm not qualified. I'm not good enough. But listen, God don't sometimes don't call the, those that are ready because they're not ready they don't they don't have the desire but if he calls you and you answer you know what he will equip you with everything you need to know and everything you need to do the ministry or the whatever he's calling you to do so today let's don't shy away in fear let's don't f pull back in doubt of our ability because it's not what's in us it's what christ will do within us when he puts the ability in us to step up to the call and share the gospel in some way, some shape, some form. Because believe me, this world today is in desperate need of someone to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to them that they may know the way to eternal life and avoid the damnation of hell. Lord, I come before you today thanking you, God, that you still choose to use men and women to do your job down here. God, that once you have saved us and we've come before you and then confessed our sins, that 
you then are ready to use us. And Lord, we should be ready. We should have a desire in our heart to share the goodness of the Lord with others. Because Lord, what you have done in our lives and how you have saved us from sin and you have supplied our needs and met our needs and took care of us should make us want to go out there today and share how much you have done for us and how good you are to those who will serve you. God, help us today to step up to the bat. Help us to answer that call and go forth and share you with every person that we get the opportunity to do so in this lost and dying world. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today.